Hello students and welcome to the 13th video in our Frogger series. Um, in this video we are going to make some more advanced things. We're going to talk about how you could do a level up. We're going to talk about some ways to have a finish line experience. So let's get started. Once we get this finish item here, I'm just going to recall it, rename it. Uh, and so I'm going to type in finish. And now it's a thing that the frog can touch. Um, and so now we can do all kinds of different things with it where the frog will move. And I can go to back to the frog's code. Oh, I'm in the costumes mode. There we go. I can go to the frog's code um, and I can say if touching the finish line or I can go to the finish line and say if touching the frog. Um, for today's lesson, I'm going to, um, in the frog, I'm going to continue to check because I'm already checking if up and if down. So I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to say if touching the finish line. Um, let's kind of make sure. So the frog does have to be alive um, in order to uh, touch the finish line. So let's go to if and uh, after you've clicked uh, to either go up, down, left or right, we're going to do an if. And in our sensing tab, there was a touching, the very first one. And so if we move it down into the diamond area, you can click on um, finish. So now if it's touching the finish line, there's a number of different things that we can do. Um, we can create a variable called level up um, or level. So I'm just going to make a variable called level. Um, and this is going to keep track of how many different levels I've accomplished. And so in this case, I'm going to change the variable. And you can see here it says frog is alive. Well, obviously, I don't want that. So I want to change level by one. That's going to increase the level by one. I can also um, do things like playing a sound effect. So maybe I want it to um, start a sound effect. So I can just put that in there. And eventually, I'm also going to want it to go back to the starting position. Um, so somewhere up here, I have a glide. There it is. So I'm just going to separate out my code, pull that glide out, duplicate it, and then put it back um, and reassemble my code. There it is. And so that glide is what I want to go down into after I've made the sound, after I've changed the level. And here's where you can also um, make different backdrops, like a big, splashy, congratulations, you're going to the next level um, backdrop. And you can really add all kinds of different um, features in there. Okay. So uh, once again, there's a finish line and there's a finish thing. Oh, it didn't group after all. I'm just going to highlight both of them and move them together. There we go. And you can see that it's kind of jumping around on my game screen. All right, so that's a quick little finish line area, and uh, there's more advanced features coming up in the next videos.